Welcome back. And if it's not enough that it's Monday, here's Turton Back Time. Be back with Turton Back Time. All right. I like to think of this as a small island of mirth and frivolity mm -hmm. in an otherwise humdrum day. Well, bless your heart. <laughs> yeah, okay, here goes. February 17th, 1801, Thomas Jefferson is elected president of the House of Representatives after an electoral tie between Jefferson and, wait for it, Aaron Burr. Mm, okay. Happy birthday, Rene Theophile Hyacinth Lanac. What? Yeah, 1781. He was the inventor of the stethoscope in 1816. Mm. It was a hollow tube made of brass and wood, and it was inspired by children holding hollow sticks up to their ears while scratching the opposite end with a pin, which amplified the sound. The stethoscope we're more familiar with was developed in the 1850s. February 18th, 1930, the dwarf planet Pluto is discovered by Clyde Tombaugh at the Lowell Observatory in Arizona. By comparison, Pluto is smaller than our moon. Ah, uh, happy birthday to George Gipp, 1895, American football player. Newt Rockney referred to him when he said, win one for the Gipper, which inspired the Notre Dame team to beat undefeated Army 12 to 6. He died of pneumonia at the age of 25. Ronald Reagan played him in the movie Newt Rockney, and actually the name is pronounced Knut Rockney. Is it really? All of, yes, it is. All American. February 19th, 1972, Sammy Davis Jr. kissed Carol O'Connor's character, Archie Bunker, on the TV show All in the Family. For decades, this was considered the longest audience laugh in television history <laughs> and became known as The Kiss Heard Round the World. That was a great show. <laughs> yes, it was. Happy birthday. Ticket to Nicholas Copernicus, 1473 Polish astronomer who developed the model of the universe with the sun as the center, not the earth. February 20th, 1872, American inventor Luther Childs Crowell receives a patent for the first machine to make square bottomed paper bags so they can stand up. Catherine, this is birthdays. Catherine, 1952, Carol, 1953, Charles, 1956, Claudia, 1961, Cecilia, 1966, Cummins. Five siblings, all natural-born children of Carolyn and Ralph Cummins, born on the same date, February 20th, of different years. Mm -hmm. February 21st, 1885, declaration ceremonies for the Washington Monument was held for the first national monument to honor George Washington. Construction had begun in 1848, but was halted from 1854 to 1877 due to a lack of funds. Happy birthday, Robert Bobo Armstrong, born in 1950, American cartoonist, creator of Mickey Rat, and author of the official Couch Potato Handbook in 1963, popularized the term couch potato. We have a handbook? Yeah, yeah, I do. And yeah. finally this. What are Major League Baseball umpires required to wear? Besides clothing, the mask. No. No. Black underwear. So if their pants split, they're still covered up. Ta-da! And that <laughs> does it for this edition of Turton Back Time. You heard him. <laughs> <laughs> Turn back time. Up next, Sequel Dose will take the stage. Yeah, they're going to blow you away, so stick around. You don't want to miss a thing. Yeah, they're really good. We'll be right back.